Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use the PCA PA8000. But before I start with that, I'd like to tell you a few safety instructions. To establish the safety standards of the power meter PCE PA8000 and to avoid heavy casualties through electricity or voltages, our safety rules are always to be aware of Damages which are the result of not following our safety standards are excluded from any form of claims. The installation and the usage is only to be carried out from trained staff. The measuring area of all connections are not to be left. Examine all cables for damage before using the instrument. The connection of the power and voltage probes is only in non-voltage state to be done. Watch that the electricity direction and the phase sequence are correct. Check the proper function of the device before the first work. On a known power supply, the given environmental conditions must be complied with. The device must be turned off straight away when a visible damage is observed. All connections are to be turned off. Device is then to be returned to our works or a service place which we recommend. Opening the case or going inside of the device is forbidden. An intervention inside of the device erases the guarantee immediately. Only use delivered accessories for this device or accessories which are for this device and from PCE approved. The measuring peaks of the proven providers are not to be touched. Be careful by connecting the two voltage and power probes of a protection against a contact of voltage leading wires. Fuses are only to be replaced with the same type of fuse. Fuse and fuse casing are never to be short-cutted. This measuring instrument is only to be used as described in the user manual. If it is used in another way, it can be dangerous for the user and to a destruction of the measuring instrument. The measuring instrument should never be laid down on the operating surface side. Never use the measuring instrument with wet hands. It is not allowed to change any technical things on the device. When the battery is empty, it is not allowed to use the device because false measuring values can lead to dangerous situations. Only when the full battery is inserted, it is allowed to carry on working. Before opening the case for the battery or the fuse, you must detach all measuring wires. Because of the danger of an electric shock, when a device is not used for a long time, please take the batteries out to avoid damage through leaking batteries. Measuring instruments do not belong in children's hands. So, and now we know the safety rules, we can now take a look at the PCE PA8000. In the delivery, it is contained for one, the measuring device, PCE PA8000. Three power pliers to measure the electricity. 
four measuring wires with crocodile clips to take the voltage. In the lower area of the PCPA8000 you find the four millimeter sockets to measure voltages with the corresponding description. Put the four millimeter measuring wire into the corresponding socket. Please be sure before connecting the crocodile clips onto the consumer that is in a voltage free state. The connections for the current measurement you can find at the front of the PCE PA8000 with the corresponding description. Please be careful when connecting the power clamps of the marks which are on both the plug as well as on the device. Subsequently attach the power clamp to the coordinating phase. Be careful of the right power distraction and the consumer is in a voltage free state. For performance measurement of a single phase consumer connect the neutral conductor and the V1 conductor into the corresponding voltage socket of the PCA PA8000. And grip the voltage on a good place. To measure currents, connect the current pliers A1 onto the corresponding socket on the PCA PA8000. And connect the current pliers L1 of your single phase current consumer. Analog to that is the term of a three phase system built up. For this we must take the three phase and the neutral cable to measure current take. And to measure currents we take all three delivered current pliers to measure the single phase currents. On the side of the PCPA8000 you will find other sockets. One is to connect the power cable and for the data transfer cable and here's the slot for the SD card and now we have learned how to connect the voltage and current cables are connected we will go to the operating of the device turned on is the PCA PA8000 with the on out button which is in the middle of the keyboard In the main menu the following keys are important. The main selection. With this key you choose the art of the consumer. That means if you have a one phase, two phase or a three phase consumer. With the record key you start and stop the recording of the energy and performance data. The hold key freezes the actual picture. By pushing the hold key again, you choose the normal measuring of the energy and performance. The backlight you can turn on and off with the backlight key. Through pushing the setup key, you come into a setup menu and you come out of the setup menu by pushing the exit key. In the setup menu you need also the shift key. To choose which function you want to do. And to change the settings you have to push the upwards or the downwards arrow key. In the main menu you can see all the data which are important for performance and energy measurements. At the top area you can see the voltage values that are measured between the phase and phase start and end. 
Also at the top of the picture you see the measured voltages values of the single phases. For further measured values you can find different phase and offset angles. From these values the performance and energy values are calculated. In this area you can find the effective appearance and blind performance of all three phases. And in the bottom area, you can see together calculated all phase with effect appearance and performance energy. In the bottom area, you can see the settings, the set power type, the sampling map, and the values for the voltage and current converter. Also in this area is a counter displayed and shows how many values are saved to the SD card. In the setup menu take the settings for the PCPA 8000. In the top area you can set the file name and the file type of the recorded file. And underneath you can do the sampling time you can, when you wish, single data or the whole SD card formatting. And see the information in this area of the SD card. In this area you can set the conversion settings for currents, voltage converters if you are using them, the function B you can set for a key sound when you touch the keys. In the bottom area you can set the date and time. In the right side you can set the decimal values. The save data set for customers from the European area you can set to the value of the euro and because there is a comma used for the customs of the American area would the decimal system with a point be used. The setting for this is called DEC. Below that you can choose the attached pliers in the delivered accessories is the type 1200 amps Thank you very much for your attention. That was our video operating instructions for our power meter PCA PA8000. I hope you have lots of fun with your measuring with the power meter PCA PA8000, but please take attention when measuring of our and begin safety rules.